Hello people, this is Back from Wave, and today we're going to take a look at the S&P 500 using the Wave Theory as usual. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Here on the channel, what we like to do is look at the main financial instruments on, from the world. We're taking a look at Bitcoin, take a look at Ether, we'll take a look at the US market, mainly the S&P, the Nasdaq, as well as some big US tech stocks, and sometime also take a look at the DAX, the German index, and we do so using the other way theory. Now, another thing I want to say before we get into the video, if you are interested in uh, getting to know my dividend growth portfolio, then uh, let me know that in the comments as I am planning to expand the channel and onto new content. Now, here are the S&P. So, if you want to take a look at the different main counts that I have for the long term, then I will link you to a video which will pop up on the top right of the screen. And uh, as usual, here with the daily updates, we're going to take a look at the intraday. So, as you can see, we are assuming that we have a way for in place. And looking at main stocks, it is highly possible. Um, so, what we're taking a look here is a one, two, three, four, five into wave one. So that would be that would be a leading diagonal into wave one, sharp correction into wave two, and now upside. Now. Let's take a look at FIB relationships. As you can see, we touched 1.618, the length of wave three against one, which is a very common target for wave threes. So could we expect downside now? Well, if we take a look at the RSI as well, uh, it looks like we are starting to move, I mean, we are into overbought territory, and usually what happens is you get a crash, uh, and then you would, uh, you know, price would keep on going higher, but you get di what is called uh, bearish divergence. So you, you would get higher highs on the chart, but you would fail to get higher highs on the RSI. Um, that's one way to uh, usually signals potential reversal. Now, another important thing is we are near the wave B top here. And that also many times once that wave B is broken, many times you pull back and you get um, you start to move lower. Now. If we take a look at, um, let's get into the 15 minute chart. Then what I see here is one, two, three, four, five. So either I could count this as um, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So there's Few different ways to count this. Uh, it could be a one, two, one, two, one, two, and here we're getting three, fours, three, and fours. That's really possible. Uh, if you put it like this, well, let's also try to look at some volume. Oh, yeah, we don't have here volume on the cash market. I forgot about that. Um, this, you could say it's a one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe something like this, but then you could argue you got already a leading diagonal here into wave one. How likely is that? Um, I can see that happening. Oh, by the way, is wave three shorter than one? Okay, as I thought. So actually, one way I see it, if I have to be honest, one, two, three, four, five. Sideways two, sharp wave four, that is highly possible. And then here, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, fours. So it's possible we are into something like this. Um, so the main takeaway is for the short term, so within the next, uh, be aware today is Monday the 19th of August and the US market opens in about one hour and a, and a half. So I would expect more upside to come and maybe by the end of today's session, which would end based on my local time, it would end right here at 10 p uh, 10 p.m. for my time, Central European time. Right here, that's the end of today's session. So we could uh, see potentially something bigger. So a bottom in this way three and a correction. Um, now, the good thing is we are trading above 
5500. As long as we keep trading above 5500, which for reference is right here. Oopsie. I really. 5500 is right here. As long as we're talking about that, then we could expect further upside to come. Uh, especially so that would be that would mean uh, upside resumption. Uh, now you could, you could argue, well, Barrett, uh, could this be my uh, minuet? So does that mean we have a one, two, three, four, five ABC, and then we continue higher? Yes, that's possible. I'm not gonna say no. Uh, I what I like to do is I like to be conservative first. Um, so the fact that I'm already calling a bottom is, you know. It's risky, but it's been playing out. If you've been following me, um, I did start to call a bottom, especially on some. Um, I wasn't sure about the bottom, but I was sure about. I mean, I wasn't sure, but I was confident about upside when we were about here. And you can fact check me by looking at the old videos on the channel. Uh, if you don't believe me, if you do, um, you're doing. Um, I'm. Uh, I'm actually lying. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing, guys. Uh, trying to make it fun, uh, but I'm not a comedian, um, nor uh, so I'm really bad at comedy and uh, trading. Apparently, um, guess which one was a lie. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, the, the the whole story is I'm expecting upside, um, but uh, I could see you know a bumpy road, um, and I could see something larger uh, coming soon. That's the whole point of uh, of today's video. I can see something. You know, I'm not saying this but a bit of a you know something that could perhaps uh, get some news um of the you know in the lines of uh, are we going back down something like that maybe uh but that to last just a, a few days um so that's what i expect for the s p i would uh okay so i will put everything into a folder so we're all happy and by all i mean me um and as you can see on the cash mark on the future market we're down 0 0.03 0 percent so we're basically flat and this looks pretty you know looks like we could expect higher but again the, the main big thing is as uh, we need to keep trading above uh, 5500 that's very important um and uh you know if i look at the comp the main components the s&p uh, apple uh, microsoft um, it, it, they're they're you know they're leading and then they look like this um, so that's that's all i can say uh, a quick look at the dax as we're here um so i was expecting this i think you can find it in one of my old videos on the long term counts I was expecting this. It looks like we have it, and it looks like we're set to break this. And once again, as is usually with the break with bees, many times you get a pullback, and then I expect upside. So that's the DAX. That's all I have to say. I'll stick to the long term. Uh, but overall, you know, that's what I see for uh, the S and P. Uh, and if you want to stay updated, then how the recommend you guys subscribe as well you would help out the channel and if you want to join the discord it's absolutely free i don't sell any course uh, i'm just trying to grow an elevated community thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next one